I thought it was going to increase for me what the hour was going to do to stay up. But then I looked for three days now. Leaving behind a waterlogged Atlanta road, impassable for some. But I see they come up to the front and they turn around and go back the other way. Jessica Bittner, who has lived here for 10 years, has six children. One with special medical needs. If she had an emergency, how would emergency vehicles get to all those waters? It was crazy. And what is causing this craziness aside from the rain? The general manager of this development tells us these are public roads. Who said it was rain? The water is supposed to drain into a dam and then into the surrounding lakes. But the lakes are overflowing. At this point, I don't think there's really much that can be done. She may have a point, but the GM says county employees have been in the area. We spoke to them on the phone today, and they tell us they were here last night and this morning, and they're dealing with personal property damage first. The best advice? And the water's not going anywhere, so it might be best to stay home. Now, I'm holding a map of the neighborhood here in my hands. Now, the dark spots, they represent the lakes. We counted at least five of them. The lakes are overflowing, according to the GM. He also tells us with the rising waters, gators are on the move. And he says that they removed two from the property only yesterday. I'm reporting live here in Fort Sumner. Gabrielle Shirley, NBC2. Yes, good job for those gators. Gabrielle, thank you. Look at this. Heavy rains.